Sam Alenikoff here with Slope Media Group. I'm sitting down with Coach Courtney, the head coach of the men's basketball team, getting ready to talk a little bit about this, uh, this season coming up. Thanks for coming on, Coach. I appreciate it. It's good to be here. You know, the first question I think most fans have in their mind as the opener is approaching is, have you started to get a sense of what your starting five is going to look like, or, or is that still kind of a fluid situation for you? Uh, we have an idea. I mean, it's difficult right now with a couple injuries, in particular with Chris Robleski uh, being out right now in practice. Uh, so trying to figure out if he's going to play or not. And, uh, you know, a few different uh, areas are up for grabs, I think, as we go into this last week. But I think we have a pretty solid idea. You talk about Chris Robleski's injury. Cornell's no newcomer to preseason injuries. A couple years ago, Adam Gore was out in the preseason, as was Lewis Dale, and they were out for large chunks of the season. With Chris uh, kind of sitting on the bench for a couple weeks in practice, what have you seen kind of from your other backup guards? Well, we like to think it's a blessing in disguise a little bit, and that it'll help us in the future. Uh, as a coach, you don't see that now, but, uh, you know, uh, hopefully guys like Miles Asafuaji, uh, Jake Matthews, even a guy like Johnny Gray, uh, now have an opportunity uh, to earn some playing time. Uh, Miles is basically running our team now, uh, and these, these guys opportunities. So hopefully that's something that will be able to establish that kind of depth in the future uh, with this injury that's happened to Chris. You've got a couple preseason scrimmages under your belt to see what the guys have in them. Have you seen anything in particular from those scrimmages that you weren't able to see in, in the practices that might kind of lead you to see who you're going to be playing in these games? Yeah, uh, I think all the guys have stepped up in the scrimmages. I think we've played pretty well in them. Uh, I've seen the improvement defensively, which was what we were looking for, uh, and we got to continue to do that as we head into our first game and you know first couple games this weekend. Uh, but I think you know basically a lot of the guys are showing me. Uh, you know, some things they can do on the floor and how they can be useful. Uh, we're going to play a ton of guys. I think uh, last scrimmage we played 12 or 13 guys in the first 20 minutes. So uh, we're going to play some guys. So you talked a lot about that defense, and it seems like you've been stressing defense in practice and also in our conversations in the past. Is that something that you're going to look towards kind of as your calling card for this year? I think we have to. I think we have to be a great defensive team. Uh, one, because we have to be able to get a stop when we need to get a stop. Uh, two, because we don't have Ryan Whitman. Uh, Lewis Dale or Jeff Foote to, to kind of bail us out with a great play or great shot. Um, and three, because I think the defense can help us create some offense. Um, I think if we get a stop or a steal or a rebound, we can get in transition and get our fast break game going. With that defense, something that has really seemed to come, come out of your practices and everything you've said so far is that you're going to work these players hard. You're going to, you got them practicing hard. You got them practicing the day after scrimmages and, and midnight madness. They were here until midnight, but there are no fans in the stands. Still at the same time, you've been known as a player's coach and the, and the guys really have seemed to jump on your bandwagon so far. How do you strike that balance between being tough on them but still, still getting their admiration? Well, I've always thought if, if players know you care about them, uh, and you have their best interest at heart, um, and the team's best interest at heart, not just the individual guys, but everybody's best interest at heart. Um, I think they understand that, you know, you have to work hard to, to accomplish some goals. Uh, I think our team understands that, you know, our backs are against the wall a little bit with all the guys we lost, um, and they understand that we have to do that much extra uh, to become that team. And they all want to win. We have great character guys. We have tremendous kids. And they want to win, so they understand that, you know, coach may be hard on us at times, but he's gonna he's just trying to win. And we're all in this together, and we're all going to try to win together. And game one that you're going to try to win is going to be against Albany on Friday night. What have you seen from the Great Danes so far, and how are you, how are you looking to attack them? Yeah, they do a lot of things offensively, uh, run a lot of plays and sets that we'll have to prepare for. Uh, they've been running for years. Uh, they have two good guards that are really going to be a challenge for us to guard individually, um, and they do a great job on offensive glass. So we're going to have to do a tremendous job of blocking out and rebounding. Um, but more importantly for us, I want to see us continue to do some of the things we've done in practice, uh, continue to do some of the things we've done in the scrimmages. I think if we do those things, then I'll be very uh, pleased. Sounds great. Best of luck in your opener, Coach. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you.